Okay, today we'll be changing a cabin air filter on a 2007 Chevy Impala. 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 It's got the 3.9 liter V6. So, first thing you do is pop the hood, obviously. Let's get to her. Next thing you're going to do is come on over here. You got these little rivets, one right there and one over there. If I can zoom in on it. There you go camera back to focus so pretty much what that is it's it's like this so just in case you don't know how these work so right now obviously it's in the oh, geez, push down position that's what it's like all you're gonna do is take your screwdriver or excuse me flathead and you're just gonna pop this up and then once that's popped up then you're gonna get underneath this bottom part and that should just pop right out now let's see if I can do it on camera Oof, I might need a smaller screwdriver. And it's not focusing. Come on. I just want to do one on camera for you guys. Um, looks like I got it. Doesn't look like it on camera though. So I'm gonna grab a tool that I recommend everybody to get. And that tool is this. That way you can just get underneath there and, oh, my. Hands in the way. Get underneath it and then just pop her out. Just like so. Oh gee, it's practically out. But you get the idea. And then after some finagling, as you can see, I was just able to get her out. And there she is. A little mangled. Whoops. Oh, there it is. A little mangled, broke. Luckily these are uh, incredibly inexpensive, so I'll get that one, but I won't do it on camera. So you take this, also this weather strip too, just, it, it just comes off super easy. Just don't take it all the way off, you don't need to do that. Just bolt right, yay. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that other one off real quick. There, I got that one out now too. I need some players though, so. Kind of an awkward spot to get in there. Oh, what do we have here? Well... Okay, so... I'm just gonna very carefully, without breaking anything, just kinda move this back. Boom. And now, this should just kinda glide right out. Oh, yeah. I'm no mechanic, but, uh, I think that's due. So this should just pop right out. There's a little thing right there, but if you want to be difficult like me and not use it, be my guest. This thing should just come right out. Oh shoot, I should probably have cleaned the stuff on top of it first. So I'm actually gonna take a vacuum and clean that out just so it doesn't spill inside the uh, car. And just so conveniently, I have a vacuum. Oops, getting a horrible shot. That's... Oh yeah. There. Beautiful. And I'm just gonna take this. And Leave it there. And you're gonna take your nice, clean, very clean air filter and just put it right back in there. Be easier with two hands. And just like that, you're practically done. Now you just gotta put it back together. And uh, I'm not gonna do that on camera because it's, well, if you took it apart, you could probably put it back together. The only thing I'm gonna do different is I'm gonna replace these. I got like hundreds of these laying around the garage. They're incredibly inexpensive. So, good luck.